Duplicolor tire paint. Here we go. We're going to be spray painting, if you will. We're going to be putting Duplicolor tire paint on these new tires. And yes, I said new. So just give you all a different look, but we're going to do start to finish. $6.99 O'Reilly's. I'm landing with Aqualux Auto Detailing. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate y'all. We're going to get right to this. All right. So Duplicolor tire paint, $6.99. I've been doing it over a year now. Another thing about this stuff, it's acrylic based. It is um, easily found at O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Amazon, and Walmart. I've seen a Walmart. They make a clear version. This is the black version. And I've done videos where I've put the clear over the black. You're gonna get months of durability, $6.99. Don't beat me up over the price or anything else about this because you just can't find anything like this. There's nothing that can compare to it. I'm sorry, it just adds a lot of value. I can get about 50 tires if I use this with a Adams foam block applicator. Here it is, Adams foam block applicator. I can do one side, two side, three side, four side, five side, six side. I can use this six times, all right? So we are not gonna be taping anything else but that. I'm going to do a section with it being used with the foam applicator, and I'm gonna spray that side without it being um, protected with any paint or anything. I have my tools that I need already. We're gonna put uh, super clean on this tire. We're gonna rinse it, scrub it, or super clean, scrub, rinse, and we're just gonna get to work. So here we go. All right, I didn't pump this up all the way. I am just working with what I got right now. I think I have used this thing like nine times today and I have only pumped it up once. So that is super clean and I am using it completely straight. Yep. So I am, that's why I love that Merrill X Axle 3000 because I can absolutely pump that thing up from the day from starting and I've used it nine times. I didn't even have the thing halfway full. So yeah, it's getting its life, but hey, whatever. We're gonna let that sit, start scrubbing. So I hope y'all are having a great week. I hope everybody's staying safe um, with everything going on, washing your hands. Hope all your loved ones are doing well and praying for everybody, um, all the first responders and um, that are helping us out with all this going on. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for what you do and all the hard work and the long hours y'all are putting in. God bless y'all. Thank you so much. So, tire paint, acrylic based. It does let the tire breathe. It does not cause browning will not sling the temperature is right around 40 90 degrees right now so i'm applying a little bit colder just to kind of give you all a different look okay so i don't know if i'm gonna do the whole tire i don't really want to bother y'all or bo bore y'all so i might just go down here but just so y'all can get a look all right so that tire looks pretty good we're gonna rinse it and then i'm gonna use some forced air so whenever you i'm gonna give you guys a warning from now on let you know i'm gonna use forced air so y'all can prepare for it so as soon as i rinse this off I'm going to use forced air, and then uh, we'll get to the uh, fun stuff. And because Super Clean was full strength, I really like to make sure that tire is rinsed thoroughly. Alright, and I'm going to make sure I get in a water trap behind that. Tape. Awesome. All right, so stand by for forced air. I'm giving you all a warning. You got five, four, three, two, one. I'm turning it on. Right. This is that uh, Shilandi motorcycle dryer I was talking about. I put some uh, polka dot tape on it. I wanted that plastic thing to kind of stick out so I could find it easier. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. I just wanted to find it easier. So, here we go. See, we got the heat on. Yep, here we go. And you're probably like, Landon, why are you using forced air? Well, it's cold outside and I need the heat. I would use a towel, but the towel's probably not going to do me too much good while I'm using this. So I'm sorry if it's loud, I'm trying to be considerate. But I want to give you all the best results also. So I said that tape was kind of concerning me. So the previous video I did before this, we announced the winner of the uh, DPC Shield Pro, so congratulations. Thank you everybody for participating and thank y'all for being here. It really means a lot to me. I'm blown away. I've uh, 
I don't know. It's um, it's fun for me, and I'm enjoying all the messages y'all are sending me. If y'all don't message me on Facebook, feel free. I'm open to it. I'm not gonna pose to it all if you have a question about anything. So, always happy to help, and whenever I can. All right, we're almost done. Hold on a second. Give me about a 10 seconds. that so if you want to fast forward I don't blame you all right so I have my little DIY cutting mats I got off of Amazon I got like six of them for five bucks Landon why are you doing that well I don't have to worry about saying the concrete like I said 699 this ain't perfect but I tell you what I'm gonna be you're gonna be hard-pressed to find anything that does the job this does for the amount of time like I said breathable acrylic based lets the tire breathe last for months I, I, i'm gonna do a week 11 i think update on my wife so i hope y'all uh are enjoying this i just know um, this helps people and the value of this is just where it's at for me okay so i'm gonna shake it up a little it's a little bit colder and i am let's see man i think y'all can see pretty good we're gonna do this side i'm gonna spray okay so tire hats it's I'm careful about this part because it's wet, but I want to y'all have like a good neutral zone, so we'll see how it does. So hopefully it doesn't bleed over. So we're gonna speed this up. Here we go. And I'm gonna spray. And y'all might freak out. I don't know, but I got my stuff on hand that I need to fix it if it does happen. So here we go. Test. There we go. Looking good. Here we go. You're like, he's crazy. Yes, I am crazy. I'm marine also. So, here we go. Water. One, two, three. I'm gonna let it flash. It's colder, and that's what I was saying in one of my other videos, is when it's colder, it takes a little bit longer to flash. I think that's just normal for any product. Even when I use the Duplicolor Grease and Wax Remover Soy Based, it takes a little bit longer. <clears throat> and I've actually had this asked this past week, Landon, why are you so obsessed with tires? Because these things take the longest. These things will whoop your tail. There's a reason I, I, I mean, I like this stuff because scrubbing these things, it's awesome. If you can find something to put on your rims too to make it easier, or if you're just using like acid, a four to one or whatever, that, that's awesome too, okay? So I'm waiting for it to flash. I wanna make sure. So here we go. Yep, I got I already got over spray. Y'all are probably freaking out. I already got it on there, I'll show you. I'm gonna do down here. Oh, I got more overspray. Here, I'll, I'll bring you on. Y'all are probably thinking I've lost my. Yeah, look at that. I got overspray. It happens. But if you forget your tape, I had somebody message me last night and hit me up and like, hey, how do I fix it? I said, hey, this is you can do it this way or this way. There's two different ways. All right, here we go. Okay, so the overspray. I'll go least aggressive method first, and we'll go, let me make sure y'all can see. I'm gonna zoom in some more. We'll make sure we take care of that spot, okay? <sighs> What's the first one, Landon? Well, here you go. Odorless mineral spirits right here. Find this at Walmart. I think they got like a quart size for like, I don't know, eight bucks, nine bucks, something like that. So can y'all see? I'll make sure y'all can see the goodness that I'm about to, about to show y'all with this stuff. All right. There we go. Got it on there. You ready? Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay. Ta da! Alright. Like I said, not worried about it. Somebody called, hit me up last night and I was like, oh yeah, cool. Yep, it's gonna get your rag wet stain, but guess what? Like I said, if you're finding a reason to beat me up over this for $6.99, you're really reaching pretty far. So I'm trying to show you the value for what you get. If you tape it, take the time, do it right, scrub it. Yeah, it works great. All right, 
I could use Citrol 266 on this if I need to, but why do I need to use something more potent when I've already fixed the problem? There's a little bit down there. I don't care, fine, I'll make sure I get it right for you guys, sorry. There's a little bit down there, but not super worried about it. Okay, if I have any left over, um, whatever. Okay, so I'm not gonna waste your time anymore. So, there you go. So, if, can y'all see that? That was like a one quick coat of the tire paint on this side. Night and day difference already, you can already see. Or wait, well, two quick coats. Two, three, one, two, three, three, sorry. ADHD's kicking in. Okay, so we're gonna go to this other side. Let me move the camera a little bit. All right, there we go. So I said, hey, I might not do the whole tire, but I wanted to kind of, just kind of give y'all an idea. So, foam block, it's cold. What happens when it's cold? Stuff can run. So I'm gonna show y'all, what if it's windy? I'll just put it closer. It's not that hard, but here, I'm gonna show you really quick how easy it is, ready? Make sure. There you go, that's it. That's all I need. We're going right here, here we go, ready? Ta -da. All right, foam block looking in good shape. All right, Just one quick one, all right? The reason the atoms might take more is because they're a bigger sponge. Nothing wrong with that, okay? I'll come down here. Swipe it on, all right? Let it flash, and you can come around again, all right? It's that easy, all right? That easy. That was two coats, two quick, quick coats. Sponge is in good shape. Why I like these, Eagle One, they may fall apart. I've seen a few guys tell me, but the reason I go with these Adam was one, might be able to go to Hobby Lobby, find you someone like this, I bet you will. So, these are the ones where I, why I go with Adam's just easier for me. They're durable, you can easy to grab onto. Ta-da, I, I don't know, I don't know what you would like me to say. Um, I can show y'all a zoom in. I can do the hand test if you'd like. We can do that really quick, hold on. I didn't wear gloves like I was supposed to, but oh well. Oh wait, let's, let, before we do that, let's pull the tape off. Oh, that's my, I always get my hands dirty. Oh lord, one handing this stuff is just pain sometimes. There we go, there's one, sorry. Alright, there's two. <laughs> Got a little, uh, excuse me. Hello. Yep. There we go. Let that dry. There you go. It's a little wet, but you can see. Look how good that looks. Beautiful. You come over here. Look at that. Overspray's gone. Looking nice and shiny. I mean, jeez. So that'll give you at least two months right there. Wash it with the P8 neutral soap and just take care of business. So hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, oh yeah, here, got a little bit on me, but we'll do the, uh, the touch test. So clean, dry hand, going to the surface. Nothing. Boom, why well, I love it. Yeah, it's a little bit colder. Could have done it probably two minutes ago. Sorry, I went kind of rabbit trailed on it. So anyways, I hope y'all have a great evening. Thank y'all for tuning in. I do appreciate you guys. Hope y'all are staying safe with your families again. And uh, just, uh, uh, yeah, hug your loved ones. And yeah, maybe call your mom and dad tonight. I don't know. Anyways, love you, mom. Love you, dad. I'll catch y'all later. Keep it simple.